But then it just grew why... because of the location. Yeah, exactly. And any time a, a cleric offering their services would, you know, be around, they wouldn't build a temple. They just go to visit the Seekers and Slayers. Mm -hmm. Like they go directly to the spires. Right. Sorry, we're just trying to make something on my computer work. There it goes. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is it like this? Uh, I have a question. What's up? Why do sometimes you make areas or things for us to do that don't have anything in them? Because that's the world. Okay. That's fair enough. <laughs> no, I, I'll be perfectly honest with you. Like, right now. Like, just because there's nothing there right now doesn't mean there's not nothing there later. Mm. And that nothing there later doesn't have to be from the world. It can be from you guys. So this is my t telling to you two right now. If you guys go back there, having learned about it in game, like what, like sort of tinkering, trial and erroring around with it, or somehow being able to communicate with the caretaker, you Which guys can literally have. Yeah, like you guys can literally have a fucking pocket dimension to build shit in. It's... That's why there's nothing in it. Hmm. Okay. It's not nothing in it permanently. So it's, yeah, it's it's nothing in it for now because it's an establishing point of its existence. Exactly. Okay, that's fine. Okay. And uh, yeah, there, again, there are places that have nothing in them just because there's nothing in them. Mm -hmm. Or so you think there's nothing in them. <laughs> which is another point. And then there's a creepy giant thing walking around that's just like, hey guys, hold these gems. <laughs> We yeah, they're just really uh, gems. Were just the exit tickets out mm -hmm. because, like, um, the logic was that if you were in there, you'd probably have some magic capability or like some magic item or whatever. So it's like it's like an exchange system of put in magic, get a ticket to leave. Okay, simple enough. So what happened to the stuff yeah. that wasn't magic? Uh, and I just probably end up getting consumed by the dimension itself. Sure. Just like put into some eternal, uh, eternal. Uh, well, I guess it is a ethereal stockpile. <laughs> you just walk around sometime and find like a gold coin in the dirt. It's like, oh hey. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, the reason this is also another thing. Like when I, I took all Drake was like trying to sense of his stone, stone sense. Like, well, obviously the earth. I told him there's less. That's because there's literally less. Right. The, the ground only went so deep because that's only how much the creator actually put care to create. So, what would yeah. have happened if we just dug straight down? You fall into the pit that the, everything else is falling into. Oh, nifty. So essentially, we were on a very literal plane of just like yes. this chunk. Okay. Yes. That's an image. So yeah. we're playing Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's actually a pretty fair uh, analogy for. It's the Skyblock survival thing. Yeah! Interesting. It's event. Alright. And then, um... Yeah, so if you guys ever, like... Go back, you guys can start doing shit with it. And once you start pumping immense amounts of magic. Oh! That's another thing, like, any magic... Gives you a ticket out, like those glowing crystals, those, like... Those in their raw form are your tickets out. Like, the, the world identifies it, and then, like... Like, a ticket, like, you know, consumes it. <laughs> when you, like, exit. If you if you don't get that shit, then you're fucking just stuck there, and then you sort of I don't know, starve to death. Just kind of eat shit and die, really. Yeah. Um, actually, no. There's a bunch of berry bushes around, so. Yeah. I mean, hmm, if so, no, no, which, no, which no, was which was the, the which was that was the that was the backdoor trap, right? The berry bushes. The bur mm, burrs. You, there, you, you, you essentially just picked all of them, and then just sort of pulled yourself in. Like it, it cr like it created like a uh, a rift. Like those berries sort of existed between, and okay. then interacting with yeah. them causes it to just kind of blur the lines. Rift. Yeah, but it's like a one way door. So because I, because I I just described the exit door, you require those crystals. So it's like one so of those big doors that you can't walk in. Exactly. So you, there are multiple ways to get in, but 
the place has been designed and programmed to only have one way out, and that's through those crystals. And then um, they were so tiny and stuff, and but they still worked because it's a cantrip. So again, if any magic caster came in and like wind a way out, like that, that, that knew like how the place worked and wind a way out. You can make an infinite way out. Just, just fucking, just start throwing fucking cantrips out there. It's easy. It's just easy throw a few fireballs and you're set. Yes. Well, you don't need fireballs. It looks into spell slots, but yeah, infinite yeah, magic. I, I, yeah. My brain. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no jokes here. No, no entertainment. If Chenry was no, she could still like cast entangle or something down there. That would work. Or you, uh, you can chuck magic items in there. That too, but I would cast entangle because it's not a fucking sword that I spent 700 gold on. Fair enough. <laughs> I think a tangle would be like the only one that would be partially applicable. Anyways. Ah, uh, shit, I just realized when you guys get to the south, it's gonna be an entire fucking shopping trip episode. <laughs> Dude, when we get yeah. to the maestros, part of it is just gonna be, okay, where's the good magic shit? You guys don't get access to that fucking shit. Fuck you, we don't. Like, you guys can't cast magic in there, so the, the best one fucking Marshall, because he doesn't need fucking magic to get shit done. Yeah, like, once you guys get to the Maestro's, like, you guys are gonna be escorted around by Connor or another Maestro or something. Or Journey mm. can. They aren't gonna fucking let you walk around. Why not? Just grab shit. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? I mean, Connor could just throw a bomb at you guys and just fucking end the conversation. It's like, what's the worst that could happen? There's literally a giant bucket of acid right over there. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> if you're in the in the in the artificer's wing, yeah. Yeah, it's for like ugh, I forget what the fucking process is called, but you dunk metal in it to see if you can see like the improper. I will bits. say I I have um there's a gif I wanted to, I have in mind for it, and I'm just gonna put it now because I'm probably gonna forget <laughs> way call. later. Let me see if I can find it. Why do I have a shortcut here? What the fuck should be Make an acid-proof potion, dunk your arm in it, see what happens. Where is it? Did I put it in the... Did I put it here? No. Oh, I, I know what this is, but no. <laughs> Okay, apparently this is the only fucking... Let's see, it's a fire thrower. Nope, so it's not here. Or did I just save a link for it? That's what I got, right? That's why I did. I'm gonna be so like, peep. Oh yeah, I did just save a goddamn link to it. I didn't even fucking download it. Good job. IGN 10 out of 10. Shut up. <laughs> but um, this is to me... If it isn't archived and I can confirm it loads. Oh yeah, like this sort of shit is to me like shit that would happen just in the artificery ring. Electroplastic bolt is mesmerizing? What? Play. Play the thing. Computer, I'm your master. Play. There you go. What the fuck is happening? There's a current running through one end of the thing, and then the other end, obviously, they just start touching it with the metal bit. The bolts are, like, changing color. Yeah. That's cool. So, not necessarily just changing bolts as colors and shit like that, but I imagine just, like, Cool shit being happening. Cool lab spaces is probably what the artistry wings like when people are allowed to work in there. Walk in, almost, almost literal magic is happening. Meanwhile, everywhere else, it's actual literal magic. Uh, I will say that by the time you guys get to the maestros, well, actually, no, it doesn't matter when you guys get there. The place is gonna be a lot quieter than when I use it be, because you know. Political tension and civil war tends to cause noble children to be recalled home. Can't imagine why. You're totally fine. Don't worry about it. Which I mean, means that a lot of the maestros probably don't have classes or like a tremendous amount of classes going right now, so they're sort of much more available to help you guys with research and shit. Neat. Or in the case of Eliza, she can ditch all her classes onto her dad. Nah. And then just 
not care about students because she doesn't like them. Like me. Man, her and Connor have so much in common. Uh... Yeah, it's as if they're like like men for each other. So that's some like stupid nerd shit. <laughs> um, well, they are both tremendous nerds, so that's also that to consider. I forgot what the fuck I was gonna say. Hmm, neat, cool, ten out of ten. IGN. Magic, artificery. It wasn't. Re into, I don't think. Research, Eliza, pocket dimension, caretaker. I don't know. Oh, I Ten. remember now. It was something like, you think sending them to the magic school with the some of the most powerful and intelligent, like people in the like fucking plane of existence would be where you want them to be, <laughs> not drag them home to be guarded by your guards, but like where they're fucking super protected. And it's like okay, and they also well, probably the have guards. Um, the, the the thing is that the maestros as an academy is just a neutral ground. Hmm. So, like, to them, noble title doesn't mean shit. Because, like, everyone that comes in might be a noble, you know, if they're rich enough for it. So, like, to a degree, yes, but at the same time, the maestros and start ditching conflicts. So, if they had to kick all the fucking students out and just leave the maestros on campus, then yeah, they will. So, like, it's not a safe, it's safe for now and because they haven't had push to show, you know? Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, they will just kick every student out except maybe like the journey can. The important quote unquote ones. Yeah, the ones of relative interest and matter. But you know, Civil War. We haven't hit the point of Civil War yet, so we're fine. Yay! Captain America and Iron Man are still friends. For now. I'm wondering which where I'll start. Hmm. Wait, what am I? Duh. Silful in the Heartlands is probably where this, the Civil Wars go start. The place that hates all non non humans and the place that shelters all non humans. Yeah, and they have like a very noticeable border right there. Yeah, so probably still fall in the Heartlands. The Twins will probably just declare neutrality as it holds the North, save for the Hilllands. Actually, no, the Hilllands are thrown with still fall. Mm -hmm. Or were they thrown with the Heartlands? The Hilllands hate the Nevros. The, the Hilllands hate the Nevros, but at the same time, they aren't particularly fond of non humans either. And so fall has kind of proven to be decent, even with the Nevros' influence to them, right? I think. To a degree, yeah. To a degree. You guys haven't passed the Vindicators. Mm hmm. And it is a political point that the Sil Silfall sent the Vindicators to go help the Hill Hillens. So the, tw the Hillens might throw in a Silfall, despite the Nevros connection. I think the um, Keplins would help the Heartlands? The Keplins would. The Kaplan's probably itself would divide into civil war. Yeah. Divide into its own provincial civil war. As some sides will probably side with the Heartlands, as others will side with Silfall. Because Silfall is a hyper religious place. It's just the wrong sort of religions. Versus the Kaplan, versus like the other side of the Kaplan's, where it's like the gods don't really care between humans and other shit. Like, obviously, some gods have made other races. Dwarves have egg for dinner, and Koja Krognak has orcs and shit like that. So, yeah, the Kaplan's itself was probably a good divide. Sensig would probably side with the Sylph Wall because of the anti elf sentiment. No, let me take that back. Noble Sensig will side with Sylph Wall. The rest of the elven population of Sensig will probably side with the Heartlands. Sensei hates elves. That being said, half their population is fucking elves. Yeah. It's very much a slave. Po well, not a slave. They don't really get enslaved to do work. It's more like a discriminating against population. Um, the capital. Neutrality? The capital would probably try to issue neutrality for itself. In terms of its population, it would also be split, but I don't think I would act on it officially. Because the Sylph so so is where, like. A significant majority of the military population is for the provinces, so that's very important. By the same time, a significant portion of the food made in the provinces is made in the Heartlands. 
So, you know, you're sort of... Fucked. <laughs> do you want to live or do you want to eat? Do you want to get stabbed or do you want to... St stabbed, but starve or not starve, but get stabbed. I don't fucking... Uh, Graffall, I have no fucking clue. Probably Heartlands. Significant elven population Graffall, so probably Heartlands. The and the Snowballs aren't anti-elf. The Exchange would be on its own side. Interesting. The Exchange, the Nobles neutrality. of the Exchange- It's not for its own purposes. The, ex the, the Nobles of the Exchange, depending on where they stand in terms of the Frajar and Influence, might try to expand the Dawn Peninsula. And just declare their own annexation to the uh, Frajaran Empire. Former Empire. Or I will side with the Heartlands because of pro-trade business reasons. Or I will just remain entirely neutral and just side with whoever wins. Interesting. And... But if they had to pick a side, probably the Heartlands, if not themselves. And, and then North North Friend doesn't fucking easy. count. Yeah. <laughs> North Friend doesn't fucking count. If There's anything, only one Lord just be like, oh, we're staying out of it. We don't have There's only one this. Lord in North Friend, and he down here with you trying to keep the place all fucking together so there's no civil war sites to pick. This is... Fair enough. Uh, in technicality, there are some people in the Farcast Peninsula. But some like... Moonies, it's but... Farcast for a reason. Yeah, like, they exist there in title, but they don't really have any... any weight to throw around in the conflict. And the Fairlands have no one in them. It's a DMZ zone of sorts between... Humans and elves, and Wanderers Wield is just all Nevros, who don't particularly give a shit. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Stay out of my house. If, they, if they heard the provinces were in civil war, they'd probably, they'd probably be like a shit ton more Nevros in the Hellens. Yeah. Opportunity. Yeah. Yep. But, uh, you know, hopefully it doesn't get there. Mm -hmm. The Skybanes can only kill so many of them. <laughs> um... What's a Skybane? Skybane is the uh, Archer Corps. The Archer uh, Company. For Helen? No, yeah, for for the for Weeper's Wake. Right. There's a lot of Archer. Oh, yeah, no, you mentioned that. Yeah, there's a lot of Archer companies in the Hellens, but Skybane's like the best one. Mm -hmm. So there was that and that's one the one guy. where the dude was in. Yeah. The one dude where yes. we found like his mama was just like, "Can you tell me if my son's yeah. alive?" Yeah, just be like, "Hey." If you see my son, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. She had faith in him, but she'd also like confirmation. <laughs> I believe he's alive, but also, please. <laughs> oh, you guys also missed a dungeon in the whole That's bad. We just miss all the dungeons. Don't worry about it. Well, you guys went the wrong direction. That's why. Hmm. You guys could have... Well, this was my circumstance. I put that there well before you guys got to Weeper. But if you guys had just gone past, like, you guys did the delivery drop into Weeper's Wake and just went south directly, um, one of the, I think the mage commander, yeah, the mage commander lady in the Hillens would have asked you guys for more help, and she would have asked you guys to clear a pass, or, like, figure out what the fuck is happening, basically. Clear the pass by the which you get ambushed out of, and then it's like, oh yeah, there's two passes. There's the Nevros pass, and then there's the dungeon pass. And then you're just like, okay, well, what's up with the dungeon pass? Like, why don't the Nevers go in there? Maybe there's something up. Well, in the dungeon pass are two rat clans. <laughs> <laughs> and then it would have been like, oh, hello, humans. I'm going to chew on your bones. <laughs> did, no, did, no, it's like, well, yeah, that might be a case. You guys attacked them. But if you guys are peaceful, which you guys tend to be, surprise, surprise, whichever rat clan you first initially encountered and went and made peace with, we'd be like, ah, yes. We, do you have shinies? No. Do you have weapons? No. Do you want shinies and weapons? We'll, we'll, we'll trade you them if you help us fight the other rat clan. It's like, well, out of all this, at least one rat clan dies. So, yeah. fuck it. Yeah, so like, yeah, so it's just basically two rat clans that are, that are just locked in the same, like, ecosystem dungeon. Like, mm. they do have other shit, too, in the dungeon, but, like, mostly it's, dip, like, them fighting each other. And then you can help one side, not, not not kill the other side, but just like help. And then in return, they'll pay you with their you know dirty rat mm. stealing money hands. And they'll also like give you the pass out. So like 
you come in from one way, you try to get out the other way behind the Nevro side. And then from there, you guys can just literally just sabotage the shit from the Nevro side and close down the pass from like a land side or something. I don't know. Oh, cool. And then, uh, yeah, you close off that pass. The Nevros can't ambush anymore. And definitely not going through the Rat Clans. Especially when one Rat Clan is now winning. Um, but that never then, happens. Yeah, but that never happened. So as of right now, there's just two Rat Clans that are still constantly <laughs> killing each other. Just punch each other in the face. It sounds like the Hillens. It was more like, sta like stab each other. They're like a Skaven from like Warhammer, you know? It's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like dirty rat bastards. Oh, Which goodness. I think about it, I guess I guess it's a good thing you didn't help them, now I think <laughs> about it. Because like the nature of the Skaven is that they could achieve world domination, but they're too stupid and backstabbing to do it. Like they they're constantly Keeping killing each other. Holes for the better. Yeah, like constantly like losing against one another. Actually no, I think I think if you guys help it would have been fine, because I think <laughs> I think what would happen is one side would win, and then it break into two sides, and then it just keep fighting itself, just like Fair. the Skaven. Fair enough. So yeah, even if you guys did help, you guys could come back like a, a month later, and it's like, oh yeah, I, I was once part of that rat clan. Those dirty bastards. But then those assholes over there started a fight, and now we're two different rat clans again. And then you're just like, what's what's the point of us helping you? And it's like, uh, help I'll us fight other rat clan now. <laughs> we'll give you money and weapons. It's like. I guess this is just a recyclable quest now. <laughs> no, yeah, essentially, it's just like just constantly <laughs> returning. I mean, eventually, like, just the currency circulation of the rack lines will probably run out of money if you keep going there. If you well, then you just them. give them like a year to recuperate their economy. Well, yeah, and then exactly. Come back and yeah. Get yeah, like both sides will raid humans and then take shit and then you come back later and then suddenly there's some gold and then they can pay you for your services. Easy. It will be yeah. twice as much as the hash time. Give me your fucking money. Or we could do the classic, like, backstab and, like, double cross and just take the money from both sides and just ditch. <laughs> I mean, that was also a potentiality that you could, like, <laughs> negotiate both sides. Like, you could constantly go between both sides. Like, hey, sorry to tell ya. You know, we got offered a better deal. Unless you can match it and beat it. Mm -hmm. But at some point, they... yeah, but at some point, like, one rat client would just be rat of shit to give and just attack you. I guess, yeah, that works it out. That's so I guess nice. if you just left in the middle of it, then you'd win. <laughs> well, I, I guess they would, I guess they would pay you afterwards if they're smart enough. If. If they're rat people. If. There's some smart people amongst the rats. Some smart, some smart mice. The, the smartest one has an intelligence of 10. Yeah. <laughs> Most common ones have intelligence of six. No offense, Regress. He has intelligence of at least eight. Wow. Can we at do least. It's probably higher. Oh, yeah. Regress. Meeting Regress again was also on the encounter. <laughs> if only. One oh, day. Oh, man. If Marshall meets Regress. That's going to be a fucking blast. Or he's going to murder him or try to. I think he tried to trade with him. I think he tried to get cool shit. Yeah. If Rikris is just like, yeah, I got cool weapons, I was like, down. I mean, he does have cool weapons. <laughs> I got a sword. Rips out people's souls. Uh, he, did, he, he didn't trade in weapons, usually, though. It's an option. Because he's, he's afraid of people using them immediately upon him, so it sort of defeats the purpose of selling the weapon. I have a head that can... Or, I have a head. I have an axe that can chop heads off easily. Excuse me, sir. Good Ratman. Yeah, it's like, yeah, roughly what would happen if we, if he, like... Damn it, we yeah. need to bump it to Chris. Okay, I'm going to dip, eat food, I should and do the pass same. pass out. <laughs> I should do the same, because yeah, I gotta well, go out in like an hour. Yeah. Thanks for the fun. Alright, have a good night, my dude. Don't be... I still advise against the sleeping, but hey, you do you. You're I, have, a I have to sleep before work. You do you, my dude. I don't, you know, it's just what, it's whatever. What is sleep? Who needs sleep? Sleep is for bitches. It's whatever, my dude. Anyways. Uh, oh, goodbye if you're there and listening. Enjoy your, your B-Day. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Alright, later, dude. Do-do-do. <laughs>